Mr. Santos, you're here. Booted out of Congress, George Santos is rebooting. Now joining Cameo, the celebrity video message platform. Don't let the haters get to you. Engaging in everything from birthday to holiday greetings and pep talks on Cameo, the platform's co-founder says Santos raised his price on Cameo on Monday from $75 to $200 due to the demand. Demand from even inside the Capitol, with Senator John Fetterman buying a Santos cameo clip to tweak Senator Bob Menendez, who, like Santos, is also under federal indictment. If you stand your ground, sir, and don't get bogged down by all the haters out there. This comes as the Republican is now on what seems like a revenge tour against those who voted to expel him from Congress. That is going to be the undoing of a lot of members of this body because this will haunt them in the future. Santos has already gone after four House members on X, threatening to file ethics complaints. Usually you see revenge as this sort of dish that they do more privately, and they find sort of a moment where, you know, to serve it cold. But here, he's serving it hot, he's coming on Twitter, and he's definitely trying to make a, make a bomb and make an explosion with what he says. NBC's Saturday Night Live gave Santos a send-off this past weekend with a Wolf Blitzer impersonator. Disgraced and now expelled Congressman George Santos <laughs> is giving his final press conference. Okay, enough! But Santos is hinting he'll dictate his own career in the public eye now that he's cut off from his $174,000 a year house salary and benefits. I'll definitely be writing a book. I have refused every single offer for a documentary. And he said he won't rule out something other disgraced politicians have done, a possible appearance on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. Maybe in the future, if I find the spot to go on television and embarrass myself with my four left feet, maybe. But Santos also has to contend with a federal trial next year on 23 charges ranging from identity theft to wire fraud to using donor money for Botox. He's pleaded not guilty. As for how that could affect his media career. The things that used to get you pushed out and make you disappear from politics and maybe the public eye is now maybe raising your elevation a lot higher, especially since he refused to sort of back away from it in sort of a Trump-like approach. Another point of intrigue regarding George Santos is the race for his now vacant House seat. A special election has to be held within about three months. If his seat flips to a Democrat, which is a decent possibility, then the Republican majority in the House will be even slimmer. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.